Early pair versus retail pair. You be the judge. Yo, what's going on everybody? I know it's been a minute since I dropped the video. Towards the end of this video, I'll explain why. Let's jump straight into this. We have an early release pair versus a retail pair. One of the pairs is the pair I just got from Nike.com. The other one, of course, is the early pair that I got in August. Let's jump into it. First, let's start off with this. You can see that this is pretty flat. The soles on this is pretty flat. This pretty flat. This one rocks. You can see how it rocks. And of course, the one that rocks came from Nike.com today. The early pair, the soles are flat, pretty even. There you have them side by side. This is the early pair on the side. On this side, you have the retail pair that did come from Nike.com. Again, I'll show you guys the receipt. You know, I do get most releases from Nike.com on the day. That's why it took a couple days for me to get these. Been looking forward to doing this video comparing the early release to a retail pair. A lot of people say don't buy early releases, they're fake, this and that. To me, my honest opinion, I'm happier with the early release pair as opposed to the retail release pair. This angle, they look identical. All right, here is the toe boxes. Here you have the retail release. This is the early release. I mean, the shape does look a little different between the two on the toe boxes. But one thing I was disappointed with with the retail pair was there was a lot of scuffs and stuff. I had to really clean them up. Also on this pair, you could probably still see, not this pair, this shoe, there's a scuff right here, and it's a pretty, um, pretty nasty scuff. Right there, you can actually see it. That won't clean off, you know. Over here, I cleaned it up. There was major scuffing here. That's kind of unacceptable to me, coming direct from Nike, all scuffed up. That's not cool. Here's the other side, the outsole side. Retail release, early release. Just want to give you guys a good look at both of them side by side. I did have a pair since August. I just got this other pair today in the mail from Nike. So you guys can decide. You know, there's so much talk. So many people say don't buy it. Buy it. Listen, I always tell you guys the truth. I'm always honest with you guys. If you want a shoe early, buy it. But just make sure you buy it from a reputable place. You know, I shop from a couple places and I've never had any issues. You know, if I had issues, I'd be the first person to send them back. Okay? It, you know, it's a matter of preference. Do what you want to do. Don't listen to the masses. It's all about you. Who gives a shit what people say? Here's the back heel on the two. Today's pair. Retail versus early. Maybe over here the cut looks a little different. But, you know, if, if I get a hundred different retail release pairs and a hundred different early pairs, none of them are going to be exactly the same on the cut. The materials, everything is exactly the same on both pairs. I will show you the, um, the size tag with the manufacturer dates on them. Here is the early pair. This is the retail pair. Soles, to me they look identical. Um, actually, concerning the sole on the retail pair, there was some extra, I mean I'm just nitpicking, but if you could see it right around here, it's not going to focus, I have the auto off so it doesn't make a ton of noise, turn it on quick. You can see that right there. It's not a clean cut. And this is the retail pair. You know, I don't have that on the early release pair. I'm happy with the early release pair. So I really don't care what anyone says. I wanted to double up. Actually, I wanted to triple up on these. But I was not able to get that third pair. And then when I was, I had already spent money on other pairs. So I just abandoned the idea of tripling up. 
and you know I'm fine with two pairs. Here's the size tag on the retail pair. You can see the manufacturer date on these is 6 13 12 to 8 14 12. Here's the early release size tag manufacturer date is 5 9 12 to 6 30 12. Basically a two month span between both. So I don't know what the big difference is there. The early release pair was just made a lot sooner, two months ahead of time, and that's pretty much it. But if you do see, the dates coincide with one another. Before this one was completed on 630, the early uh, the retail pair had started to been made. So obviously, same materials, everything's the same. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know, you know, a lot of people may be interested in seeing this video and checking it out to see if there's any big differences between an early pair or retail pair. That's why I made this video. I haven't been making that many videos in the month of November. I believe I just posted one and it really wasn't a video that I made recently. I made that video a long time ago. Uh, the reason for that is I am in the process of moving. I am moving in December. Just waiting for closing. So, you know, I have my house here is all packed up. Waiting for the closing. The house I'm going into. Stuff like that. Also, been sick. Uh, it's not like, you know, just a cold sick. There's a lot more to it. Uh, hopefully all the stuff that they're doing that works out. And we'll just go from there. I don't want to really get into details about that. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Not subscribe yet. What are you waiting for? Hit that damn button. I promise you guys, I'm gonna crank out a lot more videos in December. Try and get back to normal. I do have a bunch of pairs coming in. Uh, I got quite a few LeBron tens coming. Uh, and there's some other videos I want to make. I do have to make. Why the Sneaky Game is so messed up, episode 8. So be on the lookout for all those videos. Later. Later.